great because we found a favorite challenge cache. And that's what we're doing on this tour, is looking for high favorite caches. Yeah, I did a search for caches in Ontario that had more than 50 favorite points. And then I added in challenge caches, and this was one with high favorite points. We're right underneath Highway 11, and we want to thank uh, Muskoka Pearl for putting this cache out. Come along with us. Let's go find Let's some go. more. The next challenge cache we're after is just up the hill here, so it's going to be just a, a bit of a challenge to get up there. So the one she found there is a four and a half, four and a half challenge cache. And all you have to do is achieve 2,000 found caches. Now for us in southwestern Ontario, that is very, very easy to do. Uh, I'm already uh, approaching 12,000 and Lear Glass has surpassed 10. But up in this region, it's not as simple if you were to stay in the area to get that many caches. So we're really grateful to get this one. Challenge caches are not for everyone. Um, a, a beginner cacher would uh, most likely, in most cases, not be able to uh, satisfy what a challenge requirements are, which are to find the cache itself and to be able to meet the requirements of the challenge in order to log a find. So if you had to find, in this case, 2,000 geocaches, you wouldn't be able to log the, as a found cache until you have over 2,000 caches. And some get pretty complicated and, it, and challenge caching can require quite a bit of travel in order to get you to uh, certain situations, high favorite points or types of caches in number of states and provinces. A good book to look for is uh, by Memphis Mafia. It's called Geocaching Challenges. And I looked this one up right here. You can buy it on Amazon. It is a great reference material to learn more about geocaching challenges. Let's go find some more and some high favorite points caches and some virtuals and whatever is up here that's cool. So now we gotta go down. <laughs> one is a it's a 4-4 challenge cache so the rating is not quite what you get for finding the cache but so the hint says it's a nano so a nano on the edge of a forest could be a little tricky but we've been looking for several minutes no luck and oh I see it it's right there at the end of the branch oh that's sneaky Challenge? Yeah, that was a challenge, and it was challenging to find. Don't you love it when, when you're caching and you're not sure where it is, and then suddenly you look to the side and you can almost hit yourself in the head with it? <laughs> yeah. I love it when that happens. <laughs> Thank you. 
this one we thought for sure we were going to uh, DNF this one. I actually wrote a DNF log. Um, some people have said it was 13 meters off, and right, you know what? This is right where I have my, G, my GZ. So uh, I sent CO a note. She sent back some instructions, and there it is. Exactly what you said. Except the hint for this one is listed as 13 inches off the ground. Um, either the, I'm either really short or the, I don't know how to measure because uh, this is not 13 inches off the ground. So I'm sure the CO who were having a ball finding her caches, I'm sure she'll fix that. But there we go. We found it. <laughs> Finally. But just known. When you're in a hurry for, to get to a cache, yep. 